The investigation demonstrated that the aeroplane flew at an altitude of 33,000 feet, which is to say 10.1 kilometers. No abnormalities regarding the aeroplane or crew were found. The flight proceeded normally and no malfunctions of any system or oral warnings were recorded. Also, no distress messages were received by air traffic control. Both flight recorders stopped abruptly at 13.20.03, and from that time, the flight crew of MH17 did not respond to air traffic control messages. Flight MH17 disappeared from the radar. The aeroplane was perforated by hundreds of high-energy objects shaped like cubes and bow ties. Many fragments were found in the bodies of the crew seated in the cockpit. Some of them had a bow tie or cubic shape. The left side of the cockpit area shows a characteristic damage pattern. Traces of explosives were found in the wreckage and on the missile fragments found. Paint on fragments found inside the wreckage matches paint on the recovered missile parts. The point of detonation was determined by the spray pattern on the cockpit and by simulations, and was confirmed by the recorded sound peak. The impact and blast resulted in the aeroplane's disintegration. The wreckage of the aeroplane was distributed over six different sites, consistent with the way the aeroplane broke up in the air. Based on these findings, the Dutch Safety Board concludes that Flight MH17 was downed by a 9N-314M warhead carried on a 9M-38 series missile as installed on a buck surface-to-air missile system. Other scenarios were investigated and excluded. No other scenario can explain this combination of factors.